this is Dylan and this is my another React Native tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create this 3D animation and I'll explain everything throughout this course. So let's get started. All right, so the currently I have here, uh, well, this part of the code, uh, which is with an object, rotate Y, and I have an absolute position. Uh, and everything should be self-explanatory and I have a view that is animated view but of course you see there is no other code so it, it, it would just show us a circle so let's save the code and see alright so this is the circle we have so the first thing we want to do we want to rotate it around y-axis so the rotation would be like this alright around y-axis so like it's your thumbs up and you rotate your hand so th that kind of mm, view i would say all right so to rotate it let's go ahead and create a state variable so i'll call it uh, rotate y and uh, i'll give it default value new animated value zero all right and uh, I want to animate it so I'll call it inside component did mount this component function gets called when app is launched so within this I'll call animated the timing and uh, as I want to rotate this value so I'll call it here this dot state dot rotate y and uh, I want to give it some default properties so I want to rotate until 180 degree and duration would be say five sec seconds or 5,000 milliseconds and then we'll start the animation all right okay so at the same time because we are rotating so rotating has to do with the value degree or radius a uh, radian sorry so we need to convert this value from 0 to 100 to output value to using our interpolate function so let's go ahead and create and I'll call it say uh, const uh, uh, again const uh, say rotate rotate okay so we'll call it uh, rotate uh, rotate what mm, rotate maybe just to rotate one that's fine and uh, I think because we are in function so we don't need to, we, we are in class component we don't need this one so the first object we will want to change it's called transform and it takes a couple of properties. There's the first one will use this called rotate y. Do remember this rotate y and this is their difference within the transform object uh, for styling properties or rotation or transformation. That one, so they're different, not the same one. Okay. So and I want to interpolate our this value over here. So I'll call it this dot state dot rotate y and then we'll call interpolate function and we'll create uh, arrange the input range so input range from 0 to 180 degree and uh, output range uh, say from output range actually it could be anything but we need to convert it to degree uh, and 360 dag all right we are good so this is the output range and uh, now we'll call it over here so rotate to one okay we are fine so what's happening here the animation started and at the same time we map our input value to output value at the same time we transform uh, tr translate the value from a number to degree or radians you can understand it like this so let's go ahead and save it okay so you see it started the animation and it took five seconds to finish all right okay so well now we want to do a bit more complex animation I want it rotate X and so Y axis is rotating like this so now I also want it to rotate around X axis which would be like this up and down you can think like that and rotate Y is left and right left and right so right to left right to left like that so now let's go ahead and copy paste this now instead of saying rotate y we'll say rotate x that we are interpolating the same value all right so let's go ahead and save it 
So now we have more 3D, 3D rotation, as you can see from here. The disk is rotating like in a space, not on a, on a 3D space, not really on 2D space, okay? All right, so that's with uh, rotation with X and Y with a single value. So, but now let's create another timing function and uh, uh, another value for rotating X axis actually. So here, what's happening? It's first, well, we are taking Y axis as a starter. At the same time, we rotate on X axis. So we'll create another value to start rotation from X axis. Rotate X, mm, give it a default value. So default value is 180, we'll start from 180 and uh, we'll uh, repeat it over here instead of Y, we'll call it X and instead of reaching to 360, no sorry 180, we'll do 360 and at the same time actually we can copy this and paste it here so we'll call it rotate 2 all right and uh, now this rotate to this style object will be using for another view because do, just remember that at the beginning of this tutorial I showed you that in that animation two circles they're overlapping on each other and we created the 3d view so this rotate to style object will assign over here all right yes and of course do remember this this rotate y is coming from this style object okay so actually we don't need to call it rotate Y I can call it to rotate just to rotate and rotate okay it makes more sense okay and instead of calling rotate 2 rotate 1 we're calling rotate 2 this one okay so now we see we have two views and they would overlap with each other at the same center point over here because we are having absolute position. So absolute position, no matter how many views are there, it will take its position. It will take where it's supposed to be, even if it overlaps with other views. So that's how I have I wanted to create this 3D view and rotating on each other. All right. Okay. So uh, so now let's go ahead and save it and see how our animation works. Okay. Uh, I think I'm doing something wrong. Okay, so over here instead of Y, it should be X because we want to interpolate this uh, X object over here. All right, so do remember like each value, each object we are interpolating on both direction, like X and Y. Here the same, X and Y. So we are rotating them on the both axes at the same time all right so to get a better look actually to make it more complex so over here we'll start with X first and finish it Y and over here we'll start it we started with Y and finished with X all right okay so and at the same time in in first in first place we are just rotating or interpolating this value and and the second one we are interpolating this value the purpose of writing so many interpolation or so many different X and Y to create a complex rotation of course from each one you can delete this and this and you'll get a different kind of animation so all you need to do play with this okay all right so let's go ahead and save it okay now you see it's more like a 3D view which is rotating and it stopped, right? Okay, now as you see, um, uh, let me restart it and uh, let me restart it. You'll see it's more linear, the relationship. It doesn't look like that, uh, you see it's, it's a pretty linear and safe. It's not a random, so do a, a bit, it's a, it, to give it a random more random or natural rotation we can play with this value for now i'll play with this value over here instead of z zero i would write 180 degree over here and instead of 180 360 degrees and this one let's say input range is same as the first one 36 and we can change definitely the output range and say instead of doing uh, uh, 360 we can do 720 
all right okay and instead of uh, 0 and so 180 we can do 0 so this output range actually you can play with them as long as you are happy so there is no exact rule that how you do that so in my place in my case I'm happy with that so that's why that's how I'm dealing so now they, they, they don't look like that linear so they don't look like that predictable it's more natural so let's take a look okay so it, it's a more natural right now so they're rotating with each other with different energy we can feel like right okay so now we want to animate this in a loop uh, to do that so I want to create a function uh, called animate okay and what I would do I would, I would move this part of the code over here and over here I would call this dot animate okay so as we learned early that this function gets called automatically when the app launch and then this one will get called and the animation will start so let's make sure everything is okay yes it's working perfectly but yet there is no loop so I want to deal with this in a loop so there is animated dot loop function that you can use to do that but personally I use parallel and the little other way to do it so I'll call the parallel function and uh, it takes animations number of animations here you want to put and which would run in a loop okay at the same time okay so uh, well not really in a loop so I want to I want these two circles to rotate at the same time so let's create object from them and just call them const uh, y because it's rotating on y axis first and I'll call it con call it const x so rotate it on x-axis so y and x you call them okay and then we need to start it so let's start it okay all right so we get the same result okay with instead of doing loop I'm doing parallel because when you do parallel actually it's easy to call a few animations if you have more animations you can call them one after another and uh, you can also define your own sequence here but of course it still doesn't have this infinite loop here so we need to create that and it's a bit e it's quite easy to do that we'll call another function over here you have to know that each time any kind of function like animated the timing animated the spring animated the loop animated the parallel once they're finished running or once they start and after that once the animation has done things get called inside this curly braces if you have so right now we don't have anything so we want to put something here which will get called so actually we want to call this function so to do that uh, just let's call this callback function so I'll call it this dot animate okay so what happens when this both X and Y animation on the other hand these two are done will fall back to this part of the code and call this animate function which is this one itself so so again it will go ahead and run this animation and after that once it's done it will call this one again so it would call itself in a recursive loop like that so it would continue forever so let's save it and see the result uh, did I save it? Uh, did I save it? no I saved it but uh, the animation didn't start so I think ah uh, yes we need to move this part uh, oops my app crashed sorry so it cr let, let's go ahead and start it so do remember you can have uh, I mean just one start in general in your animation not too many but of course uh, if you have function like animated dot parallel or animated dot loop but if you don't use any of them you can call as many function and start them as many times as you want okay so let's go ahead and wait for this uh, okay now here we are we are good but it stopped again why because it started but as you see at the end of this animation they reach to their final value 180 so they are in current state and, and now they are actually doing 180 and 360 this is the position it's repeating um, so what can we do so we, we can reset this value uh, let me let me let me let me show you that why it's still going on but nothing happens right so let's create open up our terminal and uh, let's create a console log function here 
so we just say hi all right and instead of waiting so long over here I'll just do one second to get a better idea okay see you see one second later it's still going on it's going on and on and on it's it's still continuing so let's confirm you see hi got called mm, hi got called here so it's calling but because they reached to this value so they they have nothing to animate but still gets called right so this is to show you so now we can use this 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 callback function so how can we use that how can we use that so we need to reset these values over here and it's pretty easy just to call them with our state value state dot uh, rotate y dot set value so we'll set it to zero for the first one this one and the same for the down one state dot rotate x set value 180 because we want second one we're going to start with 180 so now this will run in a loop but you see there's a weird thing here so as the animation stops and runs again you see it looks like it stopped like here it stopped and running again so it looks a bit weird so we can overcome this problem you see it stopped and running again it, it, it didn't look like natural loop so we can easily deal with this value uh, first uh, of course you see here I have this uh, uh, warning so let's deal with this warning first we'll call true and use native true of course it has nothing to do with this stopping here just now it stopped uh, uh, okay all right Let's still say this okay for now ignore this thing all right okay so I think I need to use somewhere else here so forget this this is not very important here uh, so it stops here and runs again so to deal with this thing, we can call a function. It's called easing function in React Native. So easing dot uh, linear. Okay, the same one we use here. Easing dot easing linear. Okay. So with this, it would look more natural rotation. Let's save it and see the result. Okay, you see. Now it's not stopping, it's just continuing. So just now it felt like it stopped and started, but now it's it's just a natural, okay? So, and this has been solved using this function. All right, so that's it, guys. So the core part is what all we did is we have different kind of rotation and interpolation. You can play around with this value in your other animation as long as you're happy, and it's quite easy. And then we created this loop function using animated the parallel and with the recursive call. And we also, at the same time, we set the reset it, the value which you need to do. So I'll uh, leave the uh, 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 link for the code uh, the below in the comment section of this video. And if you like it, don't forget to give me thumbs up and share the video. Thank you so much.